G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, today we will be talking about the NRL Grand Final and what happened. Crazy scenes, absolutely crazy scenes. So to start things off, the first few, few sets of that game really set the scene for, for what we'd witnessed. The impact that both forward packs had early was phenomenal. Payne Haas really stepped up in the big moments and put the Broncos pack on his back, while the Panthers front rowers both had some big hits and tough carries. I must say, Billy Walters has really become a key player in the Broncos' spine, developing, oh, sorry, definitely underrated, and an early 40-20 kick put the Broncos on the front foot. Seriously, just clever footy from Billy. Broncos had five errors within the first 15 to 20 minutes. However, I thought they just defended those errors extremely well. An unfortunate error from Reese Walsh led to a line dropout. Reynolds went short and it was a good kick. However, the Broncos batted it straight back to Mitch Kenny, who crossed for the first try of the game. Panthers went up 6-0 after about 20 minutes. A big missed opportunity for the Broncos as Selwyn Cobbo was taken out by Sunia Taruva. I thought the Broncos should have challenged that, but we move on. Reynolds went down with what looked like a groin injury. He's a tough little bugger though, chose to stay out there. I think what the Panthers need to do is look at that and take that as an opportunity. They, they, they needed to use that and target the Broncos captain, which in some points of that game, I thought they did. On the topic of Reynolds, he had another dropout. This one was horrible. Going out on the full and gifting the Panthers a free two points. Panthers went up 8-0 after around the half an hour mark. Momentum started to turn as Herbie was given a penalty, which led to a smooth, smoothie pass to put Tom Flegler over under the sticks. Broncos bounce back before half time. At half time, we see the Panthers leading the Broncos eight points to six. Before we discuss the second half, I want to give a shout out to Jesse Arthurs, who's had a massive impact in the first half. Two line breaks, four tackle breaks, and 127 run meters in the first half. Crazy stuff from him. If this continues, could we see him get the Clive? All right, on to the second. To start the second half, uh, Tommy Flegler set the tone with two enormous runs. On the back of some tough footy from the Broncos forwards, Ezra Mann cuts through Lindsay Smith and Isaac Tungo to take the lead for the first time today. Broncos go up 12 points to 8. Jerome Luai came off relatively early in the second half, replaced by Jack Cogger. Not long after, we saw some more big runs from Tommy Flegler. The man has stepped up in a big way, scored that try in the first half, and is having massive carries in the second. Ezra Mam scored two more tries to give him three for the night. He got a hat-trick in a grand final. Crazy stuff. His second try once again came off poor Panthers defense. The, the third try was all Reese Walsh getting through a gap and finding Mam for his third. Again, a hat-trick in a grand final. It's just wild. Broncos came up, uh, Broncos go up 24 to 8. It looked as if they'd wrapped it up. The Broncos looked to have all the momentum, and then Nathan Cleary just sliced through the defense. And who was backing him up? Big Moses Leota. Leota crosses under the post to get the game back to 24-14. Cleary then comes up with a clutch 40-20 kick. This man can literally do anything. Panthers definitely shift momentum with a strong tackle on Paddy Carrigan, causing an error that you don't normally see from the big men. Off the back of that error, a strong try came through Stephen Crichton. Great ball movement from the Panthers. They are back. That ball movement that set up Crichton's try was just outstanding. This Panthers team, when they're on, which is nearly every week, is just amazing to watch. Panthers still behind by four points, but the momentum swung in their favor. The scoreline currently 24 to 20. Broncos try everything with a dropout. However, Cleary, just too smart, puts his foot out, earning his side a penalty. Nathan Cleary then ices the game with a great solo try. He, in my opinion, is easily the best player in the world and very close to immortal status already. The siren goes and the Penrith Panthers complete the greatest grand final comeback of all time, coming back from a 16-point deficit. The Panthers complete their three-peat, uh, the, which is the first 
three Pete we've seen since Parramatta in the 1980s. And Nathan Cleary takes home yet another Clive Churchill medal. Great stuff from the Penrith Panthers. All right, guys, before I give you my three best players from each side and to close out the video, I just want to give a massive shout out to referee Adam G. We don't see referees get credited nearly enough when they do a good job. It's mostly negativity around them. And honestly, I believe this was a wonderfully officiated game. Great work, Adam. You know, a lot of people said that he didn't deserve to referee the grand final, but I honestly think he was the best man for the job. So I've got to give a shout out there to Adam G. All right, my top three players for both sides. Penrith Panthers, obviously, Nathan Cleary coming out with a Clive Churchill. Had one try, one try assist, two line breaks, 162 metres, four tackle breaks, 140-20 and 660 kick metres. For uh, number two, I went Dylan Edwards, almost 300 metres gained, 73 post-contact metres and six tackle breaks. Finally, it was a little bit hard to find the third one. There was a few players that definitely deserved a shout out. But for me, I'm going Moses Leota. Scored a clutch try, ran for 148 metres, 19 tackles with zero errors. All right, over to the Broncos. Ezra Mam, three tries, 160 metres, seven tackle breaks, two line breaks. Honestly, if Broncos win, I think Mam would have got the Clive Churchill. Uh, Payne House was my second one, and he's definitely another shout for uh, Clive Churchill as well. He was fantastic. 150 metres, six tackle breaks, 40 tackles, zero misses, zero errors. Similar game there from Tommy Flegler. One try, 93 metres, five tackle breaks, one line break, 33 tackles, zero misses, zero errors. They are my top three Broncos players. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts on the grand final in the comments. I'm sure you've all got something to say about it. It was a cracking grand final. I'm just glad it was a close, entertaining game of footy. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.